local man is sharing his story in a book he wrote about his life in America. Yeah, originally from Germany, Klaus Lemke explains how he ended up in Bismarck, North Dakota. New this morning, reporter Kaylin McGlath, and she sat down with him to hear more about that story. Kaylin? Good morning, Josh and Alicia. I met with longtime Bismarck residents Klaus Lemke to learn more about his journey to North Dakota and the historic events he lived through. Here's what he had to say. Klaus Lemke grew up in northern Germany, right next to the Danish border. His book, Coming to America, an Immigrant Story, covers his life growing up post-World War II and immigrating to America when he was only 22 years old. I remember um, going to uh, school for the first time. I remember the food shortages. I remember um, the, the currency was devaluating so fast. Before attending an agricultural university in Germany, Klaus's education standards in Germany were not ideal. You know, I, I went to a, a one-room schoolhouse, and, uh, and here's four grades in these. And, uh, and four of them are my brothers. <laughs> you know, so we kind of dominated the school. Klaus's family owned a small farm. He decided to come to America after meeting an uncle who also farmed to pursue his degree. But I think the, the, the difference farming-wise was the hours. The, these, these guys here, they work from morning until dark or until it's wet. And we did not. I grew up on a farm and we, we quit at 6 o'clock. When he first arrived, he worked with his uncle in western Minnesota. And didn't speak English. And when I went to functions, on weekends, the two and three year olds could speak a heck of a lot better English than I could. It was difficult to learn a language when you're sitting on a tractor all day. You know? After a short time in Minnesota, Klaus moved to Fargo and began a career in real estate. Klaus relocated to Bismarck in 1979 to become the CEO of the North Dakota Association of Realtors, a job he held for 28 years. Well, it's, it's history. You know, I, I lived through some history during the war, after the war, and then coming over here itself has uh, some historic significance, you know. Since moving to Bismarck, Klaus has been a longtime Burley County Commissioner, run for statewide offices, and he has been involved in several community activities. He is now married and has raised three kids here. The freedom of America, the, the, the love for the country that we have. I mean, I'm not saying that there isn't some growling going on. <laughs> so it, it, it has its ups and downs, but on the other hand, there's, there's no finer country. One thing that me and Klaus did end up talking about, Josh and Alicia, is his favorite thing to do in America is hunt because they can't have rifles over in Germany. Wow. Oh, they can't very own interesting. rifles. Yeah. So he loves to deer hunt and he's very passionate about America. He loves this country. So. Yeah, very interesting. And having that perspective of being young in the yeah. aftermath of the war in Germany mm -hmm. with a falling currency, the lack of resources, shortages. he has a perspective that not many of us have mm -hmm. on the, you know, what we have here in America. For sure. And I find it very interesting with the farming that they were done at six o'clock and here in America, yeah. we go from sunrise Different to sunset. Times. I want to, yeah. I'm sure that has to do with the weather. <laughs> <laughs> I would imagine maybe they have a little longer uh, agriculture season there. Perhaps. Well, very interesting. Thank you. Thank you, Kaylin.